I owe an apology to Tonkasaw, Failure Accomplished, Andy Worski, Swedish Mate, Dame Pesos, and Maxwell Silver for reporting their videos to YouTube for bullying and harassment. Hey, all you guys out there. So this video is about how I was kicked out of church at the age of 15 for not having sex with a 13-year-old. She's just 13-year-old. Hey everybody, Roger here. Uh, just want to make this quick video. Uh, I just uh, recently got done watching uh, Mundane Matt's uh, apology video regarding Tonka Saw, Dame Pesos, uh, among other people, in regards to him false flagging their accounts. I think one of the things that needs to also be mentioned here is that this isn't just the only thing that Matt has done. Matt has, Matt has also lied about a lot of things. Flagging is one thing. Yeah, go ahead and limit it to that, Matt. But um, if you really want to have people start forgiving you, you really need to go back to a lot of the stuff that you actually uh, 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 are guilty of here. You lied about me. You've never, you decided to just avoid me this entire time. You had the opportunity at Kilroy in your in your in your one of your presentations. You are basically saying, Roger, you and I are going to have to have to talk after after my presentation here or whatever. And that's that's all on video. Now it's not always easy, and I totally make mistakes as well. And I'll say stuff out of line. Roger, I got to talk to you later, so we can have a conversation. Also, hi Gina, I know you're watching. <laughs> so there's that. Everyone makes mistakes, but the idea here is. We can talk on Twitter, go back and forth, or we can have a chat. Let's chat. So, possibly. All right, thank you very much. Thanks for not shooting us off. We're not all set high, sir. We're not all set high. You're significant to that starting. Huh? You're significant to that starting. Okay, we've got a little bit of time at 2.45 and we'll still be on schedule. Yeah, that's what puts you on now. Yeah, that's so 10 minutes break. So, everything in that video contradicted everything that he had did to me online by assuming everything. Um, hopefully we'll be able to talk about it. And so, from there, you had the opportunity to meet me directly. You were in my path. And what did you do? You walked away. You just walked away. You avoided conflict. You didn't want the conflict. You never, and even after that, your airport video, where you were basically saying shit about me the entire time as well. So, and, and then you kept silent about it throughout the whole thing. No matter how many times I bring it up, you never apologized to me. And uh, again, you know, am I gonna am I gonna get one? I don't think so. I don't know. Uh, but I am calling you out on this. You are not just guilty of false flagging. The other thing that you're guilty of is lying about people. You did whatever you could to ruin my credibility uh, for whatever for whatever odd reason. Whether it was by whether it was malice or whether it was maybe you really did think that that I was sitting there and I was the opposition or that I never went to to ask certain people for certain things uh, at Kilroy when I was there. I proved you wrong. Guess what? You never owned up to it. You never apologized. But I am putting it out there that you are not done with your apology tour. You are not done with it. I am putting this out there because you still have a lot of work to do. Well, granted, you finally did what you needed to do today with that video. Um, it's still, it's still just not enough. Uh, it's too little, too late. You, you've lost. What were you at? One hundred and sixty-one thousand. You're now, as of today, one hundred and forty-six thousand subscribers. You did this after a whole lot of damage. You know, I'll give you this. Better late than never. But you're not addressing it all. You're not addressing it all. And anyways, this is my rant here, just basically saying, you still owe me an apology. You still owe me an apology. I might be nobody. I might be nothing. You've never blocked me. You've never uh, given me any strikes in my videos. I'm appreciative of that. But the one thing I'm not appreciative of is the fact that you have never addressed what you've done to me. So. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, what are your guys' thoughts about Matt's apology? Uh, do you think it was sincere? Do you think it was uh, uh, honest? It, it's, it seemed a little bit honest. You know, I'll, I'll be I'll be upfront with that. So, uh, but I do think that it was more honest only because he was put in the spot, and he took this long to address everything. If you haven't watched the the apology video, I encourage you to do so. You know, 
I'll give him a little sympathy on that. I think that, that maybe it was a little bit um, forthright. I don't know. I also think there's there's this whole... I'm going to have to dive into this as well because I really don't know what to make of this. Uh, Kilroy. Uh, Kilroy is... It just, just earlier this week, we had um, Base Mama... Apparently, Base Mama approached... Um, uh, uh, Right, right wing watch, uh, Jared Holt, and they made an article. Basically, uh, I don't know how to say this. They were rehashing what had basically been said already by James Alsa, uh, Brittany Pettibone, um, Lauren Southern, Faith Goldie. They were already they're rehashing it again, but making it look like Base Mama was the victim here. Now, Base Mama and I, and Sestra have had talks about this, and I oh I I I, I do feel that that they um. Uh, were sincere in trying to make Kilroy the best that it could be, but I'm looking at this. I'm looking at Matt's apology. I'm looking at the fact that um, MythCon just happened. He was posting everything about that. Uh, the quartering. Uh, he was. He was. Uh, he posed with him. Um, great. Great. That's all fine and dandy. And yes, you know when you're with, when you're around people in person. Um, they do tend to be nicer. I am a nice guy. You know, you tended to avoid me, but the thing is, this all seems very opportunistic for Kilroy 2019. That's fine. That's fine. I don't know. Maybe there's there's secret talks because again, you're still going to be part of Kilroy next year. You're, I think you're contracted for it. I I'm assuming so. Um, anyways, uh, it all just seems so coincidental. The other thing I don't like about this this whole Kilroy interview here is is um, is that it's making it seem like we forget really easily. Well, maybe some people do. And Jared, if you want to have a real interview about somebody who knows both sides of this story, you can talk to me. But then again, I bet you'd be part of that stupid ass thing uh, uh, if you decide to associate with anybody like me. So you're probably not going to approach me for any sort of an interview. But from what I can tell you is this uh, about Kilroy. Kilroy, uh, there was a lot of uh, mishandling of a lot of things in there. There, the funds, uh, the funds issue. There's two completely different stories now in regards to how the money was taken. I'm not sure what to believe anymore. You know, I, I really don't know what to believe, and I don't want to be made a fool either. You know, I've, um, uh, I, 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 be I believed everybody at the organizers when I was there. You know, I, I, I feel like I've had a little bit of a sixth sense of understanding where they were coming from, and it, you know, with them being a new crew starting in January, only having a couple months left to, to organize a, uh, a, 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 a successful event or a successful enough event. Um, and, and, you know, it, it, it seemed truthful. And I still believe the majority of them were trying their hardest. I, I do believe that. But this is just a smear campaign. I don't know where the fuck this came from. Um, Base Mama, yeah, if you want to talk again, you know, this it, it would be great. I don't know why this whole Jared Holt thing... It, you would only go no people in general would only go to Jared Holt or Right Wing Watch if if they wanted to do two things. In this case, the first thing they want to do is smear people because they know Right Wing Watch smears people on the right. I think what's happening here is that maybe they're trying to cater to a new audience by by attracting people from uh, opposing viewpoints to know uh, to bring them to Kilroy 2019. That's that's my assumption, anyways. Um, I think Matt is trying to go a little bit easy easy handed here as well, and starting to to try starting to try to repair his credibility after all the losses and everything because they need him to be a big name because Matt M M Monday Matt is on that list as well. That the stupid ass pyramid list of related people who are uh, who this woman thinks that should be kicked off of YouTube. Uh, because of their thought and their ideology, but you know, <laughs> it, it, it he's not. You know, Matt <laughs> Matt is not right wing at all. He's more, I think, centrist left, uh, maybe left. I, I I that's what I gather from the way that he talks, his videos, his content, and his and from what I've seen. I could be wrong. I don't know, but that's my impression. Um, uh, I don't follow him enough to really really understand all about him, but. Um, he was included on that list, and I think maybe there's some sort of damage control here. I, I don't, I don't know. This is all assumptive on my part, but the fact of the matter remains. You know, you owe me an apology, but I am bringing it to the public again as a reminder that you're fully not done with your apology tour. You know, there, there's, there, there's a lot of other people here that, 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 that you have wronged. It's not just the flagging thing, Matt. 
you're addressing one part of maybe one one eighth of of everything that you have done to be deceptive to lie about people um and you've done it to me and 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 I won't let it get away that easy. I won't let it drown out. You know, um, yeah, you know, it sounds like I'm begging right now. Maybe I am. But I basically want to continue this. I want to basically see where you're going to come from and how you're going to take it from here. Uh, being an adult, sounds like you're, you're, you're creeping up to that point. So that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a plus. Um, but be the bigger man. Address this. Address this. Address the fact that you tried to ruin the credibility of somebody who was who was going to an event, um, who was being forthright and honest about everything that he was experiencing there, who was being there as a neutral person. You were giving false information to everybody around you. You were giving false information to uh, Medicare, to, to Jim, when you were interviewing with him. And later on, I, I find that video, and I'm just like, none of what he said happened. So I find that to be pretty funny overall. She's just 13-year-old. He, he didn't engage with anybody, and I was laughing at the video because he just kind of sat there. Which is why when he did a stream today and he had asked about like uh, you know facts over everything, I just kind of I was snickering because I'm like, you're talking about like facts on a situation, and you're I'm making a video where you said you did something, but I have like eight witnesses to say that you didn't. She's just sixteen years old. So this is just wanted to make sure and show you I'm not like. No, no, I, I, yeah, no, it's, it's. Clearly, we're, we're going to get you taken care of. We're going to get you registered. It's not going to be a problem. <laughs> it's just there's been all kinds of miscommunication. Just, uh, you know, errors in uh, getting people placed in terms of the buildings and things like that and fires cropping up. But this, you know, I mean, this, this kind of thing happens with, uh, with conferences, especially when they're just starting out it's a learning curve yeah there's definitely been a lot of <laughs> interesting you uh, you followed that have you i've commented on it actually <laughs> followed and commented but you know i'm very neutral to the, to the whole thing you know i've always kept my stance neutral i don't know what's going to happen and people people criticizing it i mean i guess they can look at it the way that they want to and and uh, i can see validity because there is a lot of ambiguity but i'm looking at it like well i'm not gonna not get it until i try it yeah. You know, dog, something you don't taste and have a criticism of it. Exactly. No, no, they Yeah, I don't think I found anybody yet. Right. I guess I could wait, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you talk to the front desk and see? Excuse me. Are you uh, one of the coordinators? No, I'm one of the volunteers. That's even worse. What can I do for you? Um, I came here on the on your guys' app. App is said to come here from seven to five to nine today, and there was nobody in the conference room to register. Okay. Registration. Uh, Tim was down there today for a while. So might have been a different conference room. This place is huge. Tim is going to open registration again tomorrow morning. We're going to tweet out details here in a little while. So you're good. You're good. I'm about to just I, just I drove from North Phoenix tonight okay. to get here. I'm not staying at the hotel. I live up here. Okay. That's why it's kind of a. What do you think? Know, Tim is kind of down there. He gets down. He's a big dude. He's a big dude with a, a Danish with a British accent. Okay. 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 Um, I think we'll just come tomorrow. Uh, okay. In my business. So what time is he going to do it? He's coming down uh, here probably in the next 20 minutes. And tomorrow should be 9 o'clock. I have an appointment after this, so I wasn't supposed to be here for the meet and greet. So. We're not going to be here. I appreciate it. No worries. Somebody told me you were here. I already texted him. I didn't get to know how much I did. Okay. Cool. Thanks. No worries. Tim is coming. There's three people here that are that are not him. I'm sorry. But there, he's these are people that need to be registered as well. Okay. So Tim is a tall uh, uh, British. Sound he said a, this guy over here said a big guy, right? Big like guy. Big... No, not the bulky guy. No, not him. Uh, but he's tall. But he's on. He hasn't gotten here, but he's on his way. So as soon as he, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll point you guys out. 
Well, thanks for catching me. I was going to leave because they said tomorrow we can. No, 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 no. Well, I'm sure you can. Tim said he's coming, right? Yes. Okay. I'm the guy that everybody's talking about in regards to the re registration issue. Okay. And, and, and uh, that is, it can be backed with, with fact with three people that assisted me that saw me in my scenario. Why didn't you come over and talk to me, dude? Because I didn't know you. I don't know who you, you are. You, you told to talk to Michael, said to, you, you had to know who I was, everyone else came over. No, he said, he walked, we both walked in, we both walked into the venue, yeah. he sat me down and said, I'm going to go, they left again, and he came back about five minutes later, both him and the guy that's going to be speaking... Joaquin. Joaquin and one other guy. They came back to me and said, well, look for a guy named Jim. He's a large guy. He has an accent. So you'll recognize him. And I'm like, well, I can't hear anything in here. And I've, I've asked for information about like who the coordinators were in the past, but I never received information. I don't know who well, you I'm are. Sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't find you. I wish you could, I wish you could, would have found me down there. Yeah, no, likewise, man. You know, I give you kudos for that. Um, but that's my whole thing. It's like, I didn't know anybody. I don't, I don't follow these people personally. I just, uh, so I, I reported on that. You know, I just basically said, you know, I'm upset because I had other things to attend. I wasn't gonna. I was just gonna stay here to register. That's what it said in the app. And then I left. You know, I my had dinner with a friend. And then I came back the next morning. And then I found out that everybody on the internet was saying that, oh, you know, he's lying about it. The only guy, the only person I know here from any kind of uh, oppositional position would be the uh, would be the 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 what's his name? His name is Roger. I know that much, but I don't know what his channel's name is. I know that uh, Jim was sharing that earlier too. Well, buddy, again, you didn't ask me, so uh, don't put words in my mouth. I don't have an opposition view. I have a very neutral view. Um, you know, it's one of the reasons why I think I had a chance to uh, uh, sit there and and uh, relay information back and forth between myself, Sestra, and Based Mama. They were more than willing and open to discuss things with me. But at the end of the day. You never manned up for me. You never, you never decided to go cojones to cojones and just and, and just come up to me, walk up and be a man and be like, hey, let's talk about this. What's your side of the story, Roger? This is what I think happened. This is why I said in in, in Medicare's video that now everybody believes to be true um, happened. So let's talk. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. Uh, go watch that video if you if you are interested. Uh, if you're not, which I don't blame you, um, then just go watch another video. Anyways, hope you guys all have a great night. Peace out. No, it's not. Uh, it's it's not kept an item for the washing undesirables. It's I knew this guy was going there to like report back. So I was just kind of curious what he was going to do. I spent years working security, so my I'm always pretty worth what's going on. There's always going to be a, an alternative that could work, but look at Vimeo. Vimeo's been around longer than YouTube. It's, it's got its own audience, but it's always been for the artistic video. It's always been for, for the higher quality uh, stuff that is not meant to be generally consumed by YouTube. And that's one of the reasons why we've never really seen this one take off like that. It, it, it becomes this factor of how you play within. She's just. 13 year old.